Welcome to Sitam Church Online. My name is Karita Mbagara. I want to share with you what I have been learning during this Christmas season. I have noted that angels are very much part and parcel of the Christmas story. Four times they bring a message to different ones telling them not to be afraid. They come to Zechariah according to Luke chapter 1 verse 13. They speak to Mary according to to Luke chapter 1 verse 30 and again in chapter 2 verse 10 they speak to the shepherds and they repeat the same message don't be afraid we also find that in the book of Matthew chapter 1 verse 20 they speak to Joseph about the same message don't be afraid it tells me that this is a message that is important that needs to be heard far and wide when we consider the four different people that are uh, peoples, because the shepherds were many, uh, when they heard this message, it is that they rose to do something perhaps they would not have done. And I want to say that when we know that we can overcome fear, and we know that it is not God's will for us to be fearful, then we arise to do greater things. When you consider Joseph, you know, having been told not to be afraid, he was being told, don't fear what people think and what they say about Mary. Yeah, and what your reputation will be like. And Joseph decided to go ahead and get married to Mary, who, you know, knowing the story, would have been very difficult because of his reputation and the reputation of his family uh, and, uh, and what people would be saying about him marrying a girl who has been expecting and not his child. But Joseph would not allow that to hinder him. He went on to, to, to marry Mary. Uh, he went on uh, to, uh, to bring up Jesus, to nurture him, and uh, who would become the savior of the world. And he also helped in the fulfillment of a prophecy that had been given uh, many years before about 600 years before by prophet Isaiah who had said that a virgin would conceive and bear a son who would become a savior. But also I notice that although the angels were bringing this message because they had an agenda that was God related, it was also helping the individuals that had the message. It was for the benefit of the individual. And that is to underline and say, that although God is concerned primarily about his agenda, he's also concerned about our needs. Joseph was helped not to lose his marriage, which was just a kawaida thing or a normal thing in life, but in that he was also helping to fulfill God's agenda. God is interested in those things that you don't think they are very spiritual. He wants you to succeed and he wants you to abandon fear. He wants you to rise this Christmas season and say, I will not be afraid because uh, the destroyer of, of fear, that is the Lord Jesus, has come to the world. May the Lord bless you as you overcome fear to go and do what you had been fearing to do. Don't allow fear of failure to keep you down or the fear of rejection or what people may say and do, just arise because God is with you. Don't be afraid.